Okay, in this lab, we've been told that router 1 is not able to ping router 4, and that's true. Show IP route shows us that the loopback of router 4 is not in the routing table of router 1. Router 1 doesn't have a gateway of last resort, and that network doesn't appear in the routing table as shown by the show IP route command. We do, however, have the loopback of router 2 in the routing table, and we can ping 10.1.2.1, but can we ping 10.1.2.2, which is router 3? Looks like we can't. So there's a problem in this network between router 2 and router 3. Once again, on router 1, show IP EIGRP neighbors shows us that router 1 has a neighbor relationship to router 2. Show IP route shows us that we're learning routes through EIGRP, including the loopback of router 2. So on router 2, show IP EIGRP neighbors. We only have a neighbor relationship to router 1. There's no neighbor relationship to router 3. Show IP EIGRP interfaces shows us that EIGRP is enabled on the loopback, as well as gigabit 000 and gigabit 001, but we are not forming a neighbor relationship to router 3. Show IP protocols shows us that EIGRP is enabled on the router in autonomous system number 100. It's routing for network 10 and network 2. We have router 1 as a gateway, but we don't have router 3 as a gateway. Can router 2 ping router 3? So can we ping 10.1.2.2? Yes, we can. So it looks like we have IP connectivity here, but there's a problem with EIGRP. Here's router 3. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. EIGRP is enabled on the interfaces of the router. Show IP EIGRP neighbors. We have no neighbors, but the router is configured in Autonomous System 100. Show IP protocols will allow us to see that as well. Router is configured to use Autonomous System 100. Now you may already see a problem in the output here. Can you see the problem with the router configuration based on this output? To help you, I'm gonna type logging console. Let's see if we get any logging messages on the console. Notice as soon as I did that, we're getting a message, K value mismatch. On router two, Let's enable logging and see if we see any problems. We can see a problem straight away. Notice K value mismatch. So what does that mean? Show IP protocol will show us the configuration of the routing protocol. Now we're getting a lot of output on the screen, so I'm gonna turn off logging to the console so that we can see what's going on. So show IP protocol shows us that output. On this side, we're getting the mismatches, so no logging console, so that there's no logging to the console. Show IP protocols shows us the output of the two routers. Can you see the issue? Notice these K values. Notice these K values. By default, EIGRP uses bandwidth and delay. The K values here have been changed. So show run section EIGRP and Packet Tracer doesn't support that command. So show run, scroll down. Here's the configuration of EIGRP and notice the metric weights have been set on this router. Whereas on this router, that hasn't been configured. This is using the defaults K1 bandwidth K3 delay or set. Other K values are not, are not set, whereas on this router, K1 and K2 have been set. We can view that by using the command metric weights. Type of service set to zero here. Notice K1, K2, 
K2, K3, K4, K5. K1 is bandwidth, K2 is load, K3 is delay, K4 is reliability, K5 is MTU. I'm gonna set the K values to the defaults. So show run. Notice the command has been removed from the router. Show IP EIGRP neighbors. We now have two neighbor relationships. I'll enable logging to the console again. Show IP EIGRP neighbors. Neighbor relationships have been formed. On this side, show IP EIGRP neighbors. Neighbor relationships are up. By default, on Cisco devices, only K1 and K3 are set. In other words, bandwidth and delay. On this router now, show IP protocols shows us that the router is now using the default K values. So EIGRP neighbor relationships come up. On router one, previously we only had two EIGRP routes in the routing table. Show IP route now shows us that multiple routes have been learnt, including the loopback of router three and the loopback of router four. So can router one ping the loopback of router three? Yes, it can. Can it ping the loopback of router four? Yes, it can. Can it ping 10.1.3.2? Yes, it can. So it looks like this was a misconfiguration issue on router three where the K values were incorrectly set. K values need to be the same on all routers in the autonomous system. You can change them, it's not recommended that you do, but if you decide to, you need to set them the same on all routers in the autonomous system. So were you able to complete this lab? Did you get the lab working? It's important again that you know EIGRP for your CCNA exam.